pull them together like a so a little short story. Uh, and this one involves uh, uh, the person with the spoken word tonight, Mary Barack. Um, this is uh, 1964 when I uh, first met the Mary Barack with the New York Park Quartet. And uh, I met him actually in the recording studio when I first recorded him. And I looked at him and uh, he had a different look, but it was a look that captured my eye. Uh, coming from uh, uh, South Jamaica and the housing projects, uh, we had a certain kind of dress code. And we had a certain kind of talk, you understand, bro? You know? And uh, there's one thing I think that uh, all of my uh, older, older folks, the kin folks here, can agree with me on. As you get older, you ain't afraid to say something. <laughs> you get older, you let it out. Old people will tell you off. <laughs> Young people, they just beat around the bush and filibuster. Young people say, oh, shut up. <laughs> Move out the way. <laughs> you know, that's, that's good, though, you know, because you get older, you don't say, I got to let it out. I'm not going to leave the planet until I get everything that I want out of my system. <laughs> I found myself up in Bennington, and it was funny. Because I'm up in Bennington, I'm looking around me in a rah-rah and a prep, you know, trying to be correct. <laughs> I said, these folks would go back to South Jamaica and the housing projects, and I'd take them on the corner and see them showing the dudes I grew up with. They said, what? I said, how the hell did I get up in Bennington? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, I was a jitterbug. I was in the street corners talking stuff. Yo, bro, where you from? Yeah. You were in the South Jamaica house on the South Side. And I was talking some crazy stuff. <laughs> you know, I'm glad I got out of that, you know. So I'm, I got to a new world. So I went to Bennington. I got straight. I saw a whole new kind of world in the USA. So getting back to when I saw the rock, I said, check this guy out, man. This guy is pretty cool. He was a collegiate guy. He was prep and everything. <laughs> so I wanted to hang out with this guy. So I used to go down this house on Cooper Square and I'd be up there every day in this house. And this is prep can be. He was a collegiate guy. And that, was a, that was a new thing for me. I was checking this out. Everything he would say, I was checking him out. So that was a whole new thing for me, to me, you know? And so our, our relationship goes back a long time. It goes back to 1964. And uh, in my personal note on him, you know, if you're, not, if you're on the outside, you've got to be very careful what you say about people. And no matter what you have read about Gary Barak or what you've heard of all this man. And Barak, he may say something different. I don't think so. I think I'm correct on here. He was one of the, the smartest guys on the planet when I met him in 64, believe me. And he is still smart. He is very smart. Don't sleep on Gary Barak. <laughs> Inside his head, this guy is smart, you know. And I must say, he is one of the treasures in this country, and probably the world. Mary Baraka. The Swahili word for Holocaust is mafa. So if you ask us how has it been in America for us, we say, it's been a mafa. <laughs> if you ever find yourself somewhere lost and surrounded by enemies, we won't let you speak in your own language. Who destroy your statues and your instruments? Mm. Who ban your own boot for a boot? Mm. You're in trouble. Mm. They ban your own boot for a boot. You're in deep, deep trouble. Mm. Africa, Africa, Africa. 
creator of the human being, ancient, mighty Africa. Creator of the human being, of speech, of music, of dance, of the city of Africa. Mighty, ancient, beautiful Africa. But when you put your hand on your sister, made her a slave, watch out Africa, the ghost will get you. When you put your hand on your brother, made him a slave, watch out Africa, the ghost will get you. I didn't get here on my back. In the dark, with the wind and water blowing through my ears. I can't get here. Oh, Batala, Shango, save me, save me. I didn't get here in the dark, with the wind and water blowing through my ears. My brother the king sold me to the ghost. My brother the king sold me. At the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, there's a railroad made of human bones. Obatala, mm. Shango, mm. Isa, save me, save me, save me. At the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, there's a railroad made of human bones. Mm. Wait in the water. Wait in the water, children. Wait in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. At the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, there's a railroad made of human bones. Black ivory. Black ivory. If you ever find yourself somewhere lost and surrounded by enemies, who won't let you speak in your own language, who destroy your statues and instruments, who ban your boom, boom, ba, boom. You're in trouble. They ban your boom, boom, ba, boom. You in deep, deep trouble. Huh, probably take you several hundred years <laughs> to get out. At the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean is a railroad made of human bones. Black ivory. Black ivory. Hey! One of the greatest trombone players in the history of this music, Roswell Rudd. Yeah.
For those of us who never missed trying to understand, for those among us who took a stand, who felt they could speak or sing for the land, man, for anybody who could say that and that, this is the way it was. For those we trust, for those who took a bus, who would open their mouths at the fiends, use profanity at the inanity, the insanity would cuss for the whole of us. Women that doubted they were real, and would take the fall, take the hit, appear surreal, vanish in a clannish discovery of our unlike loyalty, with minuscule royalties. Heat with insults and banality. Who would dare to stare at the king and other little things and still open our mouths? Tell jokes to rouse the sleepers, the next week stronger folks, to turn from really looking or booking, force dumbness on the dumb, ugliness on the ugly. Expose the liars, extract their teeth, lodge our feet, help find the seat, declare on some of our feet. Those who could die before they cried, have their necks stretched with 666 homonet sandals, accusing it of the scandals of which the murderers themselves were the handles. All them, we as they kin, they babies, they armies and navies. For them was true, before or after and during pain, criminals reserved for you. For them, the glorious and the grim, the bad with us, and wet the dry dust of the accused, the dishonest, the abused, the secret hero, the banished, the banished, the tarnished, the unstoppable streamers. Wherever they try to take us out, so the alley, and out of the circumstance, empty hill, we are the same, but call them whoever they are. Brought down by any game or guilty lane, we are all the same. For those whose honest claim is life without safety, or the craven without misdirection, the evil that escape detection, play that. Play that! Us. For the people who would tell you what was really going down. We'd give little ground. For those the beast would have. Play that, play that, play that, yeah, play that. That heavy violence. That switchblade funk. That Lydian pentatonic scale. The red and black lines of the apocalypse. Play that. That signifying blue memory joint, that history, narrating, unequivocating, maroon, Lewis, Ralph, Duke of Sonic, hyperbole. Play that! Yeah, play that. And bring us to when we is and was or when. Bring us back. Let it be a band connected from across the world. Let it be so hip, even bad bush to be smoked. Or Sharon would die in the sticks, trying to get out of the way of what it's saying. Play that, play that, play that, play that, that way. And whatever everything be, let's get their notes out free. And on the scale, that tale, play it red, what history said. Wheel it black, hit the attack, bring it blue, so those people should remember it too. It gotta be hot, who black it or not. Like a plantation whisper, transformed into linen's laughter. 
harmonies like Mao, Jesse, and Plasky, and Du Bois question, how does it feel to be Nicolas Guillen? And Amy Césaire, Langston could say, if Martin told Zora how Elaine explained music like Lorca May or Dumas play, like the Dumas Malcolm Pay, all the conversation, like an endless symphonic conversation, when Langston got hooked up with Beethoven, and somehow I got to look at his head and see him. And the sunrise cosmodynamic pumps we got down. It was collective, improvised, some of the scores coming forth and adorned what I say, like a human hum, where life comes from. We smoke it to the ground, make your world spirit sound. Hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now, we now, hey now, hey now, that's about that little Rudy tune, that universe was sound. Everybody, 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 everybody